okay guys today I'm gonna show you uh, how to overclock a GPU a graphic processing unit and uh, what tools I'm going to use to do that and where you can get that tools okay so let's start uh, connect to internet open the browser go to guru3d.com okay guru3d.com click on downloads first download the Riva tuner okay you can uh, tune any graphic card out there that is overclocked capable uh, uh, anything from 8400 from Nvidia and uh, 3000 series from uh, ATI will do uh, first download Riva tuner okay uh, from donor from Europe if you are America, download in America, whatever. After that, you only downloaded it. So after that, uh, click on search. Download EVGA Precision. Okay, EVGA Precision. And download the latest one, that is 1.81. 1 Same procedure. And download. Okay. Uh, after you have completed the download, uh, all you got to do is install them. Uh, go to the location where you saved it. Mm. Then here it is. It EVGA precision. This will be a RAR file. I extracted it. After that, uh, it's Riva tuner right here. It is in seven zip form. Just extract it. Uh, install WinRAR first. Then uh, after extracting you will get it like guru 3d.com set up Riva tuner install Riva tuner then install EVGA precision after everything installation is complete Riva tuner will take uh, more time after installation it will take some time I don't know why but it takes ok uh, Riva tuner ok for the first time you click it asks for something uh, I'm not uh, very sure about. Just click next, and uh, whenever it asks reboot, don't reboot. Okay, just click detect now. Something it will be okay. After that, uh, uh, this box dialog box will come. Then it will show you the uh, graphic card you have, and uh, please upgrade to latest uh, driver version of uh, any manufacturer. Uh, ATR NVIDIA then click on customize low layer system settings this is uh, only uh, to show you how to increase the fan speed this is very very important when you overclock cause uh, after you overclock you need uh, more system cooling then uh, if you don't have cooling system you have to increase at any cost you have to increase the fan speed otherwise uh, your graphic card will die really very soon okay uh, first it will be like this and it will be showing the stock speed of your graphic card uh, click on enable low fan setting okay it will ask you for reboot don't reboot click detect now and uh, for example mine was 38 so I increased it to 89 ok 89 come on yeah 89 click uh, on apply fan settings at windows startup apply then save 89 ok save click ok this one also has um, the overclocking settings but uh, I like EVGA precision because it sh monitors everything right there so it's uh, really cool for me to do that so press ok then click on EVGA precision come on ok see this is a box you can double click to enlarge whatever you want to see then all you got to do is slide the sliders ok this is my stock lock okay so uh, 
Windows XP users uh, will get the test thing when they overclock a little bit so it's good I don't know why it doesn't show test in uh, Vista and uh, 7 I'm using Windows 7 uh, 64-bit ultimate so uh, I o first overclock a uh, little bit let's see um, 550 okay uh, increase it to 570 and the straighter clock is linked so you don't have to worry about that first just uh, overclock the core clock then press apply okay then increase memory clock a tiny bit okay let's okay click apply okay um, again increase a little bit apply increase a little bit apply uh, go on doing this until and unless uh, the weird things start happening okay uh, then it will automatically uh, turn the screen into uh, 8 bit something like that 8 bit uh, wallpaper so uh, when that happens uh, click your restart button you shut the PC keep in mind uh, when that uh, setting uh, which you kept so the that weird thing started happening just set uh, set the clocks a little bit less than that then that will be your last clock speed so I had mine uh, bottlenecked at 713 from 550 okay uh, and the fan speed okay uh, here it is fan speed 82 okay apply Let's see uh, here I didn't use a uh, fan speed here uh, cause uh, if you even after increasing and click apply it doesn't use to uh, apply so uh, I didn't use that but uh, Rio is good for fan speed controlling and this is awesome uh, Windows XP users will have uh, an extra advantage of uh, the test option then you have uh, these profiles by which you can uh, adjust the settings uh, always uh, keep this apply at Windows startup thing uh, after you get the right clock okay and don't uh, uh, tick this on before you are uh, testing cause uh, uh, if you get it uh, more overclock then uh, every time you start up the windows it's going to uh, do the weird thing so um, while testing uh, shut this off test after your test is complete and you have got the maximum uh, clocks then click this so every time you log in uh, into windows it's going to be overclocked so in settings you are monitoring everything frames frame rate OSG if you have a, a Logitech G15 or something like that which has an LCD on the uh, keyboard it's going to show you the clocks and all that thing on the frames basically on the LCD so screen uh, capture soft, uh, software also is there so it's a really good one you can change the themes uh, you have got many themes there and this is a good one looks nice so hope you guys uh, like this video enjoyed it uh, and uh, you don't have any problems from now on overclocking the GPU so please subscribe comment uh, ask questions I will be pleased to answer them uh, thank you for watching guys have a nice day. Bye.